Inside, we've got the mini fridge, this junk box up top. It's kind of just got a bunch of miscellaneous stuff in it. Soap, calculator, batteries, hats, lighters, all that good stuff. Here, um, here's the bench. Underneath the bench is clothes, more clothes. I can fit all my clothes pretty well under there. Um, and you've got the bed in the back. It's about 6'2 from wall to wall, so I just barely fit in there, but it's pretty comfy actually. Uh, here, if you sit down, you got the pull-out desk. It's pretty nifty. Um, in this top cabinet, you got school supplies, food, Tupperware and toiletries and other stuff, and then uh, kitchen supplies like plates, bowls, silverware, all that good stuff. On the bottom, I've got my tools, uh, some extra parts for the van, some extra oil, extra antifreeze, all pretty much just like maintenance stuff down there. Here's the speaker box. Uh, it's pretty nice because it has a very long uh, speaker cord in the back. So you can un unravel that and pull the whole box out of the van and listen to music outside or on the beach or whatever. It's got two six and three quarter inch speakers up front and then a down facing 12 inch sub on the bottom. It's run by this uh, thousand watt sound stream amplifier. At night when I don't want people looking in and I want to be a little more secluded, I've got this very makeshift curtain here. I just attached it over there and it covers the front. And then in the back, I just have two um, pieces of cloth with zip ties on them that run along a little curtain rod and cover the back windows. It works pretty well and blacks things out pretty well. As far as cooking goes, um, for inside cooking, we just have this little camp stove. It folds up and it's connected to a 20-pound uh, propane tank that's also in this bottom cabinet. And that's for just simple indoor stuff. And then out the back, we have a little bigger setup. So underneath the bed, got this big pull-out drawer. It's got um, a stove, a sink. Under here, there's a little mini oven. Um, a little countertop space, and then some kitchenware storage under there. As far as electricity goes, we've got the solar panel here and solar panels under the bike that charge two auxiliary batteries that are underneath the bed back there. Um, they charge it through this solar charger here. It gives you current voltage and current amp output, which is pretty nice. The batteries, power for the fridge, the LED light strip up here, which I can turn on here in a second. LED light strip. Uh, this power outlet, and they do that through the use of this converter. That's a 2000 watt Cobra converter. And then this switch here connects the car battery to the two auxiliary batteries so when you're driving you can charge the auxiliary batteries with the car alternator. Up top there's a big rack that I can throw all my gear on. Um, in this box, it's a locking uh, roof box. I've got all my kiteboard gear, extra shoes, camping gear, um, a bunch of other miscellaneous gear. Here I've got one of my bikes. Um, and there's a simple bike rack it's locked to the um, frame of the rack. These two solar panels and the one up front help charge the auxiliary batteries. And that's basically it.